Hey guys, it is Elise here. Probably clicked here to see some tips on high school, which I'm about to give you. Be a senior in high school and it's like summer flew by. Try everything. Get involved. Um, this is going to help you make lots of friends. Any clubs. It's a really important time to try everything. You're figuring out who you are and what you like and what you want to pursue when you're older. Attend all events. Um, I think that this year, you just want to like go to all the sports events. Go to swimming and basketball and soccer and volleyball games. I want to go to like every drama production. Like I want to go to everything and really get the full experience of high school. And I'd really recommend starting that like your freshman year. Like why not? There's so much to get involved in and I recommend just doing it all and checking it all out. Friend groups change. I know that people say this all the time and I'm like, yeah, like my best friends and I, like we're never going to change. And you're always going to have those few people that you'll always have with you. My friend group did change. Um, I was always against that. I'm like, that's not happening to me. Like, I know who my friends are and like, they're not going to change. My group has changed multiple times. And yes, I still love everyone and I'm still friends with them all. I have that wide range and group of friends so that you can always have them. You just always need a good group of girls. I think that's really important. Not everybody will love you. Um, you have to accept that not everyone will love you. Just, you'll always find your people no matter where you go. And there's always been people who are against you and that will judge you. But you're, you're not always everyone's person. It sucks and it's happened to me before and it's not always fun. But you just have to like stop overthinking it and not care and just move on, I'd say. Stay out of drama. I think as you grow older, at least for me, hopefully whether we've gotten past like the drama or like argumentative phase in our lives. I want to love everyone and be happy. Um, drama is stupid and I've never liked to be involved with it. I've been there. I've been in the drama. I've, it's, it's not fun and it's not a place that you want to be in. You don't always want to be stressed. You don't want to be thinking about it. You don't want people talking about you and you don't want to be talking about other people. So just like stick to you and like you do you. Don't let mean people or bullies get to you. I know that I was picked on a lot when I was little and I got bullied and then in high school I definitely got kind of teased. Um, there's definitely this group of boys that will pick on you. Um, that happened to me as a freshman and I know a lot of other people um, it's terrible but you just can't let it get to you. It happened to me so much that you have to like be strong you have to be confident. Um, and just ignore them. If you give in and if you show that they're affecting you, then they're gonna, that's like energy to them, they're gonna keep on going after you. But if you ignore them and be like, like that doesn't affect me, like I don't care what you say about me or what you do, then they won't care about you anymore and they'll just move on to the next person. A few things that you just have to like know what's coming and that's one of the things that happens a lot and you just gotta move on and be you and be confident with that. You're finding yourself, basically, through these years of high school. So just be open to new interests, but you might find that like you're not as good as everybody else or you just don't love it anymore. Be open to change, but life has changed, things change, friends change, your sports might change, your interests might change. Letting this happy time come to you. <clears throat> Stay on top of homework and assignments. I think that this is a really, really important one because for me, uh, I'm a really bad test taker and that's always been like my issue um, and my struggle in school, but I'm very, very good at getting homework done on time, all my assignments, turning them in even before the due date. If I get an assignment, I do it that night so that I know it's over with. And the most satisfying thing to me is writing it, like all my homework down and like doing a check or like crossing it off. Um, so if that's what motivates you, then just do that by turning in every all the assignments in on time. If you don't do homework tests, your homework grades will like bump up your test grades. So like if your test goes down, then you'll still have those good homework grades that you turned in. But if you didn't do the homework and you don't do on your test, then you're you're stuck with a solid like D versus a B that you could have gotten if you put a little bit more work into it in advance. Grow relationships and connections with your teachers. That's always been kind of something that I didn't understand when I was in middle school, but now that I'm in high school, it's like my priority is meeting with the teachers before school, after school, emailing them, like talking to them, getting help when I need it, and speaking up. If I don't understand an assignment, they're, they're paid to help you, um, and they want to see you grow 
and do well. So I think that's really important and sometimes I've noticed that by visiting your teacher and seeing and talking with them over something you don't understand, maybe if you don't do well on your test, they'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but they'll give you a good grade because they know you've been trying and doing well. <clears throat> Grades are important mainly for juniors and seniors i think people think that when you're a freshman and sophomore your grades don't really matter but that's not true um as a freshman that's where you kind of start your gpa and then it kind of builds and you have to work off that gpa but like at the very end of the four years something like all your gpas get averaged out or something so if you have like a d or a c as a freshman or a sophomore and then get like an A or B your junior and senior year, you're going to average out with like that B or C when if you could have just started and pushed a little bit harder during the easier years, then you could have ended up with a greater grade in the end. So I just think it's important to start strong in the beginning um, when it's like a little bit easier before the homework comes and it gets a little bit more challenging so that it's just easier your senior year and you don't have to stress out about that. Start brainstorming as a junior, but if you want to start as a sophomore, like, go ahead. Um, if you know what you want to do, like, that's great, but a lot of people don't. Um, luckily, I was able to kind of know what I want to do in college at a young age, but it's very important to, to start brainstorming, kind of start just thinking and figuring out what you'll be into as like a junior I think that's a really good time to really get ahead of it before you're stuck with like senior year we have to figure everything out there's so much going on with college apps and school and graduation and I think you want to be way ahead of that the junior that's when I started doing my college visit out of all I was like with all these seniors and they were they like really look at you know like wow like she knows what she's doing like getting a good head start and I think that was really beneficial to me and then I'll be able to do early early admissions for college. Um, and I think that's kind of my goal. And it should be everyone's goal. Um, that's kind of talking about college. But I just think it's important to start thinking about what you want to do. Get involved in like your community and your school in ways that will look good on your resume. And just when you apply for college. I know a lot of people do like fun stuff. So if you have like a job that shows that you have good work ethic and you have people who support you and know how well you do it, that's important. <clears throat> um, leading special events, uh, we do a thing called the CCA Walk, um, Children's Cancer Association, and it's really important to just get involved with those little philanthropy type things and step up and help and be that leader that looks really good and just volunteering or being a captain on a sports team, those all show that you can handle big things and just just how you are and how you act and how you get involved and I think that's really good to show leadership in your community. Find like a club or anything that like you are good at. Um, for me I really enjoy singing so I'm I lead a thing called Hot Coffee House um, and I sing at mass and I do a lot of leading um, like ambassador stuff and I think it's important to find what you're good at and you can lead it and a spot that you can shine, a um, place that like you're maybe above somebody else, or just like I said before, leading it that makes you look really good for college, and um, I think that's good in high school too because teachers will look at you and be like, wow, like that's really cool of them. I don't know. If you need help, speak up. Um, you have tutors. You can meet with teachers. I know we have a thing uh, that. National Honor Society, yeah, and they have seniors that help tutor students, and I just think it's so important to get a good grade in school if you're willing to do the work and willing to reach out and get that help. So if you need help, speak up and get a tutor and get someone to help you push you and help you do better. Not everybody is born smart on any means. Don't think that you have to be an A student. It's not the end of the world if you get, if you get a D or an F on a grade or an assignment, um, there's most likely going to be a ton more assignments ahead of you, uh, hopefully, that you can build back up that good grade. And even just like, if you get a bad grade, go talk to your teacher and be like, hey, like, I really, I did try and study hard on this, um, is there any way I can maybe redo it, or just anything like that. You don't have to be an A student, it's like, people go so crazy over that, and I think parents really pressure their students, and I don't think that's healthy. 
I just think that you find what you're good at and um, maybe school isn't your thing, but you gotta push through it. Just try to do your best and that's honestly all that matters. Okay, when it comes to finals, there are always those people that study like months in advance, maybe like a month in advance, that's crazy. Um, and there's also people that study like the last week and even closer to a few days before finals. They'll maybe just check out their, their worksheets and call that a day. Um, I think you want to be in the middle of that. You don't want to be psycho. Like, a month in advance, like, that's kind of crazy. Like, I'm not calling you psycho, but that's kind of crazy. And um, a week in advance is just not enough. I think two to three weeks in advance to make note cards to talk to your teachers, to make a study guide, to go through the study guide, to talk about the study guide freshman year I studied like three weeks in advance and honestly I felt like I did better like my sophomore and junior year when I only studied like two weeks in advance just because it's a little bit closer in time and some people I know it's important to write a schedule and be like very specific to me that's a waste of time I'd rather just go along and see what I need to do you just gotta figure out what's good for you that's like the answer to everything find what's good for you and go through and follow that manage your weekends in high school um, I know there's a lot going on. You have homework and family events and you want to be with your friends or maybe go to a party and stuff like that. For me, I always say Friday night is kind of like my friend's night because technically it was a school day. So maybe I'll have some friends over and I'll go to a football game or sports event. Kind of be like my friend's night. Or maybe Saturday I'll hang out with friends for a couple hours or Saturday night here and there have a sleepover. But Saturday I think it's really nice um, if you have a couple hours to get a little bit of homework in because then you're not stressing out on Sunday. Um, I hate dreading days. I hate dreading Sundays. So if you have like half of your homework done on Saturday, then you won't have as much on Sunday to do. And for me, I mainly like to consider Sunday a family day just to do stuff with them, maybe go to brunch or um, church or just do a family dinner outside or a barbecue or watch a family movie. Um, I like to kind of keep that open for family on Sundays. But it's totally up to you, but just kind of like manage your weekends. Put your phone away. I've never been allowed to have my phone during school through kindergarten through 12th grade, basically. I won't be able to have my phone. It's really good, and it's kept me really focused. Like, here and there, yes, I'll check my phone, or I'll go on a little break on my phone. But, like, having it in class, I know a lot of, like, public schools allow that, and I just don't think you're as focused, especially um, when you're doing homework, I think maybe... This is so hard because I do it too. I'm always on my phone, whether it's music or Snapchat or watching YouTube. It's so important to put your phone away when you do your homework so you can stay focused and get that done. And then maybe after a few hours, maybe go on your phone or have a TV break. And then at night, I've always put my phone next to my bed. And like sometimes I gotta say, I do go on it and it can be kind of late. And you just gotta be careful. Um, just get a good enough sleep. Um, and if you're addicted to your phone like me, maybe put it in the bathroom or downstairs so that you're not tempted by it. Take time for yourself. High school can be a very difficult time, whether it's teachers or school or your friends, um, drama, just everything. It can be a lot at times to handle. Uh, and for me, I've always thought it's important to take a few days out of the year and just have a you day. Maybe hang out with your mom or go shopping or sleep all day or watch TV or just do homework and stay at home. But you don't have to be perfect and get perfect attendance. If you want to skip a couple days, um, I recommend that if you really need it, um, just to spend time on yourself so that like you're not going crazy and not super emotional because nobody wants that. You need to make sure that you make your health a priority. Just make smart decisions. Um, I'm not going to talk much about it. You know you. Um, you know what's right, you know what's wrong, and just do that. Just don't risk it and just do your hard work and you can do it. You don't need other people's help um, to send it to you or cheat on a test. I think you can do it because you're that great. Don't care what people think. I'm a huge overthinker. Don't care what people think as much. I do that all the time. Just don't care. Just be you. Last thing, don't be fake. Don't be someone you're not because you'll get caught and people will find the true you and you just got to stick to yourself. I just hope that people will love that. And if they don't, then that's bad for them because you're amazing and you're beautiful. And hopefully after this, you're going to kill your four years of high school and do great things in life. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.